Hello and welcome to part two of our tutorial on how to use Dropbox. In part one we showed you how to manage, upload, and share files from within the browser and in part two we're going to show you about the Dropbox desktop folder and how you can use it to accomplish similar goals. So we're going to need to install the desktop folder. In order to do this from Dropbox just head up here to your account name, hit the drop down, there'll be an install button. If you click it, you get linked over here. Um, the Dropbox folder is a free download for Windows and you can just click here to get the link to the executable. Um, if you're on Mac, Linux, or mobile, just follow these links down here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the Windows version for now and it'll just automatically start downloading. Once the download finishes, um, just start installing the program and it'll walk you through the process. Once it's done, it will have created a Dropbox folder here on your desktop. If we click through to it, we'll see all of our files from Dropbox from before have already been automatically downloaded to our computer. So you'll see this check mark, which means that they're synchronized to Dropbox. But these are actually local files on your computer. You can see when I mouse over here, Windows actually has a size for our test.docx. Uh, also, all of our pictures of cars are in here as well. And so this is really handy for keeping all of our files in sync between Dropbox and our local computer. You can also use it the other way, too. So let's say I have this stock image here. If I just drag it into my Dropbox folder, and let it sit there for a second, it'll automatically start uploading. You'll see the symbol and then the check mark. And then if we head back to our web browser and head back to where we were, you'll see that, look, it's been added into Dropbox, just like if we did it through the browser. You can also share links straight from the folder. So if we wanted to share this stock picture, just go in here and right click, click Share Dropbox Link, we'll be alerted that a link to the picture has been copied to our clipboard and we can click to view it and then it'll bring it up just like this. You can see you can paste it wherever you need to and it'll just load the, the file that you link to. And so you can send that to anybody quickly that way. And that about covers part two of our Dropbox tutorial in which we showed you how to download and install and utilize the Dropbox desktop folder. Uh, we hope this has been helpful and we hope you have a fun time cloud computing.